I'm Glenn. Ashley. And Ashley. Yeah. And what's the name of the act? Twist and Pulse. Twist and Pulse. Yeah. Twist and Pulse. Twist and Pulse is a street dance act. If we got through today, I think I'd honestly faint. I'm a bit scared. I might just faint and fall on the floor. We've been training and preparing for this day for weeks and weeks and weeks in our kitchen. With our mum coming in the kitchen trying to cook dinner. Even when I'm at work at BQ on the weekends, I'm always dancing at the till or something like that. I'm just dancing all the time. Because we're best mates, we actually have a strong bond in our performances all, so we're comfortable with each other on stage. It gives ourselves like, a strong performance. To win Britain's Got Talent, honestly, it would just mean the world to us. Good luck. Yeah, Knock him dead. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Have fun. Hello. Hello. And who are you? I'm Ashley. And I'm Glenn. Hello. And together we're Twist and Pulse. Are you students? Um, yeah, I'm still at college and I work part time at B and Q. <laughs> Are you best friends, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah best, best friends, friends, yeah. Okay, good luck. <laughs> right, let's go when you want the music cleared, yes? Here we go. <laughs> Hello? Yo. Basically, right? Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen. I'm gonna dance, okay. he's gonna dance, done, right. sorted. Hey, switch. We are mind readers. In fact, Andrew and I are so in tune with each other, even though we went shopping separately for today's audition, we both ended up buying the same camouflage T-shirts. <laughs> Let's show you what we do. Amanda, I'll take you over your phone on you. Yes, I do, actually. Uh, if you stand here for me. Amanda, I'd like you to scroll through your contact list and stop on somebody at random. OK. Look at this person's last three digits of their phone number. Yes. Yeah. Once you've got that in your mind, lock the phone and put your phone on the desk. Just say this person's name over and over again in your mind. I really hope we get this. And even though you picked this person, you had a free choice. Is that right? Andrew? Amanda, in a loud, clear voice, what are the three numbers you're thinking of? 415. 415? That's exactly what I've got. Thank you. Of course, Amanda, this is a contact in your phone. In a loud, clear voice, whose number is this? My sister, Debbie. Debbie? That's what I've got. <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much. Please take a seat. Thank you. How would you do Simon, please join us on stage. And I'm sure everyone here will give you a really big hand. <laughs> Simon! Yay! Oh, Good luck, oh, Simon! Oh. Love you, Simon! 
go this side of the stage thank for you, us. Simon. Thank you. Simon, would you hold that, please? We're going to go on an imaginary journey in your mind. Oh, don't. Oh, God, oh, don't dear. go there. Don't oh, go there. Dear. Oh, dear. I'd like you to imagine that you're standing outside a house. You look at the door and you see a number on the door. Any number you like, Simon, please write it down. Just try to say that number over and over again in your mind. You now go into this imaginary house and you go into a living room. You look at the wall of the living room and you see a colour painted on the walls. Please write it down. Just imagine that colour all around us now. You're focused on it, right? And even though you picked that colour, you could have had anyone. You now go into the kitchen. You look over at the wall and you see a celebrity calendar. It could be anyone you like, Simon. Now, although you picked this person, that was a free choice. You know that, right? You know that. And even though you picked this person, you had a choice of thousands. Andrew? I, I am getting something. Simon was asked to imagine he was standing in front of a house. He imagined a door, he imagined a number. Simon, you then walked into the house, you looked at a room that was in a single colour. Then you're asked to think of a celebrity, anyone in the world. Simon, I believe you're thinking 717. You're thinking of the colour turquoise. You're thinking of Sir Roger Moore. May I? Ladies and gentlemen, exactly the number 717. He thought of wow. turquoise. Good. You chose Roger Moore. Simon, thank you so much. How did they do that? Thank you so much. So much. <laughs> Many of you may be wondering how we read minds. What you should be wondering is how we started off this performance wearing camouflage T-shirts and ended up wearing black. We are DNA. Thank you. Impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to a pearl with unbearable sorrow and to run where the brave cannot go.
got talent. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Um, so what are your names, boys? Uh, my name's Charlie. And my name's Leandre. And uh, together we're Baz and Melody. Bam. What's the dream with you two guys? I just want to deliver it to you people. I just want to give an awesome performance. I get ya. I get ya. What does your mum and dad do for a, for a job? My mother's a uh, personal trainer and my father's a stonemason. Stonemason! You, yeah, bro! And you? My mum's a cook in a school. Dinner lady, yo! And, um... <laughs> um, my stepdad, he owns his own company. He's a businessman, yeah! <laughs> Can I just say one thing? Alicia, I love you so much. You're my inspiration. He friends the Alicia. He don't like Amanda. Amanda, you're beautiful as well. He is lying. Um, boys, can I just ask you, uh, what are you singing? Well, it's uh, Hope by Twist and Faith Evans, but it's a bit of a twist in the rap because I wrote it myself. What's the song about? It's about anti-bullying. Uh, so, anti-bullying? Yeah, because it's something that I feel deep about. So. I started rapping because I went through a very hard time in primary school. I was getting bullied. As a parent, it's one of the hardest things to see your child upset and going through emotional turmoil. It is hard, very hard. When I used to be like down in the dump, I used to write down my raps. I could express myself through what I was writing down. I was very happy with the way the Andre dealt with it. They actually stood up to the bully and resolved the situation. I moved to school and uh, it's a much better environment for me. I love school. <laughs> I really do love school, it's amazing. I'm very proud of him, very proud. The first time we met, we really clicked. It was just an automatic connection. Like, I didn't think it'd be like that. We're brothers. I think music's made him a lot stronger. If it wasn't for his music, he wouldn't be as confident and as cheeky, you know? It, it just helps him a lot. We really want people to listen and um, hear our lyrics that are in our song. OK, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Just a kid, I don't want no stress. My nerves are bad, my life's a mess. The nature call me, they hurt real bad. I wanna tell my mom, she's having trouble with my dad. I feel so trapped, there's nowhere to turn. Come to school, don't wanna fight, I wanna learn. So please, Mr. Bully, tell him what I've done. You know I have no dad, I'm living with Just my mom. Hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music, yeah. if you sit, let it take you. Away. I like these terms. They'll make a way, I know it ain't easy, but that's okay, just be hopeful. Why be a trip back a single day? I didn't have to be born, but now I have to pay. I ain't got no money, you take all I have. When I give it to you, I search for my bags. I feel so scared when you shout me down. You kick me, punch me, throw me to the ground. When I ask you, yo, what have I done? You hit me again, I make fun of my mom. Yes, I am yeah. hopeful for today. Take this music, Check it out. music, let it take you away. And be hopeful, uh. hopeful, and he'll make a way. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay. Just be hopeful. What I wear is all I oh, have. No. We lost a home, I'm living from a bag. Yo, Mr. Bully, help me, please. I'm flesh and blood. Accept me, please. Hey, Mr. Bully, I don't know what to do. My mind, I can't explain what I did to you. Mr. Bully, take a moment, please. I'm a single day. You bring me to my knees. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, uh. for today. Take this music and you sit. Let uh. it take you away and be hopeful. Yeah. Hopeful. And he'll make a way. I know, I know. it ain't easy, but. That's okay, just be oh, oh, oh. Two 
you them and then I start singing. So hold my hand, I'll walk through my deal The stairs creak as you sleep, it's keeping me awake It's the house telling you to close your eyes Some days I can't even trust myself It's killing me to see you this way Cause the truth may vary this ship will carry It's killing me to see you this way Cause the truth may vary this Ship will carry our body safe Don't listen to a word I say The screams all sound the same And though the truth may vary this Ship will carry our body Fellas, no buzzers, very good. They've got a standing ovation here in no Cardiff. Look, they're on their feet. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, nice to meet you. Uh, what's the act called? Uh, Charlotte and Jonathan. Charlotte and Jonathan. OK. Um, uh, how old are you both? I'm 16. And I'm 17. OK. Um, and, and you thought the combination would work. Whose idea was it? Um, it was our singing teachers, actually. She thought it'd be good to try us out together. <laughs> and we both sounded quite good when we sang what we did. OK, you're not saying much, Jonathan. <laughs> Are you shy? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I've always had sort of problems with my size since I, I can remember. And when I was in sort of primary school, it was back then really that I had sort of the mick taken out of me and it, it kind of damaged my confidence quite a bit. When, when people would say something to me, I'd just... It'd just take a little piece out of me in a sense. I'm quite protective of Jonathan. Like, if someone... If I was there and someone stood there and said something to him, I wouldn't sit. I couldn't sit there with my mouth shut. Before you make a judgment on someone, I think you really need to get to know them. It's not as cliche as it's not judging a book by its cover. You've got you've got to read what's inside. Charlotte's been a really big help for me in terms of confidence and making me a better performer. And I really don't think I'd be going up on stage today if I didn't have Charlotte by my side. And do you think you could win? Yeah, together. All right, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Just 
Holy Spirit. 